Hey everybody, YTPD here, and what I'm looking at is a simple XOR gate using pistons. I'm sure most of you, even the non redstoners, are probably familiar with this. This is the gate where it only turns on when only one of the two inputs are on. So if I turn one lever on, light turns on, turn both levers on, light turns off, turn one lever on, light turns on, turn both levers off. Light turns on, light doesn't turn on, silly redstone. Okay, well that's how it's normally supposed to work. The redstone just glitched up there. So, this is an easy way to do a two-label light switch in your house. It's the same, basically the same way light switches work in your real house, and you can do it in Minecraft like this as well. So, if you wanted to have in your house more than two light switches that have the same ability, where you can flick any switch and it changes the state of the light, no matter whether the switch is up or down, or whether the other switches are up or down, the simplest way to do this would probably be to use buttons and a T flip-flop. A T flip-flop being a gate that whenever it receives a pulse, it changes state. So if I push one of these buttons, it changes on. Flip another button, push a button, it turns off. And I could do it with any of these buttons. I could put these buttons anywhere in my house. There we go. I guess the light's having some problems right now. Whatever. But let's say... Buttons make your house look ugly. I don't know, buttons look pretty cool to me, but let's say for whatever reason you wanted to use levers instead. Well, this doesn't look easily expandable to house 10 levers for whatever reason, so I invented a small little thing to use more than one lever, more than two levers for your light switch. I didn't really invent it, these are just parts that are commonly known, I just found a way to put them together and make the thing work. So what do I do exactly? I can flick any of these levers, and the light will change state independent of what the levers are, independent of what the other levers are, anytime I flick a lever, the light will change state. And I, this, my design is modular, which means that you can add as many levers as you want. So how do you make this? Well, there are two parts to this design. Let's get rid of this stuff over here. Okie dokie. So the first part is a double-edged trigger. What this does is whenever it gets an input, it outputs one pulse. And not only does it output one pulse whenever it gets an input, it outputs one pulse whenever the input changes from off to on, like that, one pulse, and when the input changes from on to off. It's pretty self-explanatory how this works. The piston cuts off the redstone when it's out like that. Pretty self-explanatory. And the second part of this machine requires a glitch in Minecraft. Normally, sticky pistons, they pull and they retract push blocks. Push, pull, push, pull. Simple. But when a sticky piston is given a one tick pulse, it has some problems doing that. I'm going to apply a one tick pulse. It pushes the block, but it doesn't pull it back. But if I give it another one tick pulse, it pulls the block back. And I can just keep on doing this over and over again. So now what I do is I put a torch over here, get some redstone wire, hook this up to my light. And so now when this block is over here, it will power this wire and power the light. Simple. So now what I do is I just take my D flip flop and my D flip flop. I just take my double edged trigger and my lever, make a whole bunch of them like I did over here, and connect them to the, and connect all of them to the same sticky piston. So whenever I flick one of the levers, it causes this sticky piston to either take back the block to pull it in or to push it out. And when the block is in one of those positions, I chose being in for this particular case. The light turns on. Let's try. Again, click any of these levers, light turns on. See what it looks like over here. Block is in, powering the wire, turns on the light. Click any of the other levers. Block is out, wire is off, light is off. Simple. And like I said, this design is modular. All you have to do is just make more of these double dual edge triggers, double edge triggers, whatever you want to call them, and have them all connected to the same sticky piston. So, if you want to take a closer look at it, if the video was too fast for you, feel free to download my map. A link to it will be in the description. And until next time, this is YTBD signing out. Bye, everybody.